Highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. Ashbury, a suburb in Sydney's Inner West, is located 10 kilometres southwest of the Sydney Central Business District. The area was originally occupied by the Darug group of people. In 1793, the first land grant in the area of 100 acres was given to the Reverend Richard Johnson, the colony's first chaplain. He named it Canterbury Farm and subsequently received two further grants. By 1795, Johnson had 30 sheep, 50 goats and was growing oranges, limes, guavas, vines, figs and 38 acres of wheat. He was described by Captain Watt Content as being the best farmer in the colony. In 1794, two other grants, north of Johnson's, were made to James Hunt Lucas and John Clapham. Both had been lieutenants in the First Fleet. William Cox, builder of the first road across the Blue Mountains, purchased Johnson's property in 1800. It was sold again in 1803 to Robert Campbell. The estate passed on to his son-in-law, Arthur Geoffrey. About 1850, Geoffrey commissioned architect Edmund Blackett to build Canterbury House, which was located near the site of the present-day Catholic Church in Leopold Street. After Geoffrey's death, there was a number of tenants, one of whom was Bidolf Henning. His sister Rachel visited him and described the house. It is about the most charming country house I ever saw. A white gate brings you to a drive planted with firs at the sides. In half a mile or more there is an iron gate and the road goes through beautiful flowering shrubs, turns around a bed of perfectly dazzling azaleas and camellias and there is the house. A very pretty house raised on a slope of green turf with a double row of white steps leading to the balcony and door. There is also a laundry, dairy, etc., in a stone court. Then up some steps you come to the back paddock, round which are built the coach house, stables, cow houses, milking bale, pig styes, and fowl houses. There is a large kitchen garden vineyard and any amount of lawn and flower gardens. John Hay Goodlett, a successful businessman who made his fortune dealing in building materials, purchased Canterbury House in 1876. The area became known as Goodlett's Bush. In 1883, the Trevino family built a weatherboard house, which before demolition was located at 162 Milton Street. Sarah Trevina operated a local dairy. Other dairies were on the site of Peace Park and another, run by the Lloyd family, in the area of 2nd and 3rd Streets. In 1904, the Dobroyd Golf Club moved from Haberfield to Goodlett's Bush. The land it occupied extended from today's Trevina Street to 1st Street. A new course opened in 1909. The club was now on both sides of King Street. Ten acres of golf club land was sold to South Ashfield Brickworks in 1911. By 1913, the golf club was only on the western side of King Street. The eastern side was now the South Ashfield Brickworks and Wattle Hill Estate. Another brickworks, the Ashfield Brick and Tile Company, was located on Milton Street. A 1913 map of the area shows no streets between George's River Road and the race course. Goodlett, now Trevino Street, was a driveway to Canterbury House, King Street, Milton Street, Woodlands Avenue and Holden Street. John Goodlett died in 1914 and his widow subdivided the surrounding land as Goodlett's estate. In 1915 and 1916, the sale of the Wattle Hill Estate, bounded by 1st, King, 5th and Holden Streets, was of land previously occupied by the Golf Club. In 1920, Dobroyd Golf Club closed and the site was taken over for housing.
Roslyn, King, Millville and Ettrick Streets. Between 1920 and 1930, groups of shops were established along King Street and on the corner of Creep and Roslyn Streets. When the Trevena property was subdivided in 1922, part of the land was resumed for a public school. 1924 was a notable year. The first school, called South Ashfield Infants, opened in a weatherboard building in 5th Street. Two churches purchased land in the area. The Catholic Church on the hill behind Canterbury House and the Methodist Church in Melville Street. The Suburban Land and Investment Company sold strips of land along King, Holden and the eastern end of Goodlett Streets to three builders. A newspaper report of 1925 tells us... So rapid has been the growth of the suburb that few people outside of its own boundaries know of its existence. It has suffered from the fact that it is nameless, being referred to variously as Wattle Hill, Goodlett's Bush Estate and South Ashfield. The Wattle Hill Progress Association asked Canterbury Council that a locality name be adopted. Ashbury, the first syllable of Ashfield, and the last of Canterbury, was suggested. The aldermen agreed to the suggestion. The Methodist Church was opened in April 1926, and the public school moved from 5th Street to the Methodist Church Hall, next to school land where the mountable classrooms were being erected. In the same year, St Matthew's Church of England began in the building which is now the Church Hall. The foundation stone had been laid in 1925. A non-official post office was established at Ashbury on the 7th of June 1926. The first office was at 32 King Street, Ashbury. Upon the death of Mrs Goodlett in 1926, Canterbury House was left to the Presbyterian Church. The house and surrounding land were sold by the church in 1928, and the following year the house was demolished to build suburban homes. In 1927, a fire in the school demountable classrooms, now named Ashbury School, meant that pupils were sent to Canterbury School and Ashfield until the completion of a new building which opened in 1928. Francis Xavier Church School opened in 1930. Teachers were provided by the nuns of the Ursuline Order, who opened a convent there. The Catholic Directory records the 1931 enrolment as 191 students. In 1951, South Ashfield Brickworks closed. However, the quarry supplied shale for other brickworks until 1965. The foundation stone for a new church building at St Matthew's was laid in 1956. Ashfield Brickworks closed in 1959. Factories were built in Milton Street on the Brickworks site and the local council owned the remainder of the land, which was leased in 1975 to the Western Suburbs Australian Football Club. In 1976, Ashbury Public Schools administration block was completed and the original classroom building renovated. The Beanishell Library, using a new and unusual building technique, was erected in 1977. The disused South Ashfield brick pit was purchased by the New South Wales Government in 1978 for use as an open space. In 1982, the Australian Football Club Oval was named WH Wagner Oval, honouring William Wagner, who had played for the club during the 1940s and 50s, and later served as a first grade umpire and club office bearer. The surviving single stack and kiln of the South Ashfield brickworks were demolished in 1987 by Canterbury Council to make way for Peace Park, which was named in recognition of the International Year of Peace. It was officially opened during 1993. Peace Park, being the highest point in the area, overlooks all of the suburb. Today Ashbury is mostly residential. Although a few shops remain on King Street, there is no commercial centre. With the potential development of industrial sites on Milton Street to high-rise apartments, the area is about to change. 
If you have enjoyed this video, check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com.